welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So we're going to do this tutorial, let's carry on with our Max Payne weapon wheel. So as you can see I've moved the Hadouken Ice Ball over here. Um, it was to save it easier for this tutorial later. But what we're going to do is jump straight in. Um, I fixed the moving textures but it's a little bit glitchy. So as you can see the innards change but it's all there. So what we're going to do today is make it put icons in the correct spots and then when you click it it assigns each one for you to fire with. So obviously he hates us but yeah. So we're going to go to our GUI scripts and I'll put up our weapon wheel. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually convert weapons from a string to a GUI content. And the reason we're doing that is because then we get image text and tooltip and we can set the image to whatever weapons currently attached to each one of these simple enough and then we can set the tooltip to the ID of it so if you open up, you open up our player fire on character here you can see at the moment each one has a number so 1 is fireball, 2 is ice ball, 3 is time and 4 is sword so we can just basically say if we click the top one for the moment it's going to assign it to sword which is number 1 but then we're going to improve this fire script soon but yeah so it's really simple so on our weapon wheel what we're going to do is actually first assign the, the weapons images to each one. So the top one will be zero, just like that. And then the right one, so north, east will be one. There. South will be two. And west will be three. And I'm just gonna reorganize these like so. Perfect. So now that we've got that, we've got top. Yep. We can down here, we're gonna basically go to the player fire and directly change this and convert it to the tooltip which we saved in weapon wheel here. So we're going to type game object dot find character. So we're going to our character because it's on our character, obviously. Dot get component. So we're going in to get a script. Player fire dot and then we can go in and get weapon number. And then we'll make it equal to the tooltip. But the tooltip's a string, if you remember. So we need to say weapons zero because it's the top one dot tooltip. But then we need to convert it to an integer. So we'll end it with a bracket. And before this, we'll just type int dot parse, and that'll convert it to an integer. So we can copy that entire line, and we can paste it to the right weapon and change it to one. Copy the entire bottom weapon two, and com copy the entire top well left weapon three. So for every one, it will convert it and set it to the correct one. So all what's left is to assign weapons, and it should technically work fine. So what we're going to do is go to our GUI scripts, and we'll assign it. So the top one, I want to be Fireball, which is will be easy if we just find it in resources. So here, Fireball, and it's number one. Ice Ball, there, number two. Time is number three. We don't technically have an image for that yet, but I'll just set it there. And sword, we, we will get an error for it, but we'll just put that in anyway. So at the moment, you'll see the images are too small when I click play. So as you can see, they're too small. We need to increase the size of them, which we'll, I'll do off tutorial. But if we click um, number one and fire, Falcon we have a punch. If we actually click this thing here, so we and we press number two, we fire. Boom, boom, boom. So you see, we're firing blue. Falcon punch. So the time warp, and you can see everything slows down. Put it back, and we set number four. And um, we'll get an error when we press fire. But if we press fire, there. The error is basically the same. We don't have a sword. So if we go over here and collect a sword, and we do the do the same again. So do 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 do. We can still collect these. These don't matter on it. So we collect it and then we go I equip the sword. It won't do anything yet until we press four. Well actually it won't do anything until we actually equip it, that'll be a good idea. Now it'll do it. Obviously we've still got work to do on the sword, but hey. So now that we've got the weapon wheel done, we need to work on something else. And the thing I want to actually do quickly because it's really easy is if I just load this and pause it, I want to put a basic little icon probably next to health bar here so we can see what weapon we've actually got attached. So if we've got fireball, it shows a fireball sword, ice ball, stuff like that. And it's really, really, really simple to do. So we're going to go and we're actually going to stick it in player fire simply because then it's easily linked to it. 
So down here we're going to type function on GUI and we'll simply type GUI.box and we'll say rect. I have no idea where this is going to be so I'll say 220 and we'll say it's 64 by 64 just so it's a biggish icon. We might have to change that. And for the texture of it, we'll actually set it to here we'll just type var um, current weapon and it'll be a texture 2D texture 2d I think that's right I can't remember I seem to have lost that but yeah so we'll say current weapon just like that. so it's just a box that's all it is just a box with an image so by default it should be a fireball so we'll go back here we'll wait for that to load and we'll stick fireball on which is deciding not to load there so when we play it, hopefully it should be in the right place. Ooh, very, very close. So it needs to be up a bit more, so we'll just drag this to one side so we can see. Up a bit more, so we'll say 10, maybe 0. The uh, icon in it, again, needs to be resized, but we can do that later. So we'll actually give it a GUI style, so, um, style, so we can get rid of the box. So up here we'll type var style and it'll be a GUI style so we can get rid of the background box so when it loads it'll scan it and stick it into here then we can go in look through the background delete 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 what we don't need and um, that seems to be perfect enough so we click play and it should be roughly in the right place and be all okay so as you can see nearly very very nearly done so we'll move it across a little bit more say 10 and move it down by 5 and then now that it should be in the right place and then all we need to do is make it switch every time we press a button or click something which is more code but it's really really simple code so current we've got fireball perfect but what we can do is we can actually link it to our weapon stats script because we do have one here so I'm just going to quickly assign the textures into here just so we have and what we can do is actually literally tell it to go where it needs to be in here so the ID, it doesn't have one yet, but we can set. So one way we can assign these is we can actually use another function inside here. So basically every time we press this, it links to the uh, weapon stats here, gets the correct icon for whatever number it is, comes down and then assigns it into the current style. So down here we'll just type function and we'll say get current, well, say get image, that'll work. And in here, we'll just say, stick these in here first. So wherever it says turn items off, we just paste this in. Like. So one issue with our scripts at the moment is the player fire is very, very limited. We don't know any of the IDs. So we're going to have to set it off based on the IDs here. So if it equals 1, assign it this ID, 2, this ID, 3, the ID, C. But we are eventually going to improve player fire. I have done it for last maps. It works brilliantly surprisingly so down here we'll just type if weapon number equals zero no one then we set the icon to whatever it needs to be so it's quite manual not the best but it'll work so we'll say game object dot find misc scripts dot get component And then we say weapon stats dot. Then we can go into where is it here. So we can go into weapons dot. Well, we don't need that. We need a bracket. So we say zero this time. One. Yeah, because this is fireball. So one, which is this one here. And then does it have a a icon yep so we said the icon the icon so we say current weapon equals game on to find the icon that simple so we're going to copy it paste 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 two three four so you got to be careful which way you do it so number two is the fight the highest ball so that's there number three is the time which we don't have yet so we'll duplicate this and make a new one for it so time this could have been organized better but hey it works so player amount 
um, zip, minus one because you have unlimited damage, it does none because it's time, it slows time. Uh, the second one is buy price, we'll say nothing, nothing. Um, icon, we've assigned, equip single handed, true, and description, we'll set up now. So time is a basic starter spell which children use to, oh, because it just left it in, but hey. So physical object, we don't have one. So that'll work fine for the time, we'll have to refresh it in the actual thing. So we come down, three is time, so we'll set that to three, and sword is zero. So now that should correctly assign each individual icon whenever we click a button, hopefully. So we've got that to work perfectly here, it'll assign it, we'll check it in a minute. But there is only one issue we've got at the moment. It would only actually get the image once we press it in here. Like, um, what you call it? When you press a key, and it won't actually do it when we use the weapon wheel, which is the whole point of this tutorial. So we're going to go back, and we're literally going to tell it to call that function itself. That's why I left it in brackets. Uh, you see, planning ahead. So we're going to duplicate this line and pretty much get the entire thing, but we're just going to say, get image. That simple. Then it'll automatically assign it after it's already assigned it. So we go in and we assign it to every line. That simple. Really, really simple. Once we click the button, it does it. So let's go in and try it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it should work. Because we've got all these assigned here and we've got an error. So I must turn it off. I remember the error. We've got to refresh our weapon stats. So as you can see, click refresh and it adds it for us. Add our images to it so we don't get another error. So sword is you, fireball is you. If you've been watching my space tutorial you would have seen that I've done a saving tutorial. Um, if you're following that one, I highly recommend it. But using that we'll be able to eventually save all our data into a text file. So not join the game so we literally open up notepad or something and we type fireball wood saw blah 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 and then we just load it because then using that method users can go in and adapt it and mod it which makes gaming more fun people love modding games trust me so that's it we've got all that done equip single it's all fine so we press two three four so as you can see it's changed at the top different image sizes which of course is very professional if you've never seen that in a game god no it's not it's terrible so we click that even though we shouldn't have a Hadouk unlocked. Press tilde key, let's change it. Perfect. Look at that. So, fire. It is firing, it's the bad spawn point again, which is highly annoying. E. Okay, E then. And as you can see, it works. So that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. We really need to fix that player fire, but it'll work better. By the way, if you don't know what I mean by fix it, basically we are not going to have it all on one script at all. We're going to have one script for each type of weapon. So we'll call one of them projectiles for example. So any fireball, ice ball, anything that fires straight forward will be a pre we'll just assign the projectile script to it and it'll have basics on like the fire sound and stuff like that or maybe not it'll just have an ID because then we can link it to weapon stats. So, projectile ID 1, it'll go to fireball, ID 2 goes to ice ball, or we have um, swords or um, melee weapons, and then that'll link it to sword, bats, spears, anything like that. We have um, bows, stuff like that. Cool stuff like that. And then we have one script attached to each weapon. So instead of attaching it to our character, when that weapon's actually equipped, then we can attack with it, because then that gives us an option of dual weapon. So if you if your mind's just being, don't worry about it. It's really really easy when you see it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it. Please comment below if you like the new recorder. If not, I'll switch back to the other one. And um, I'll get me money back or whatever. And then please join my Facebook group. It's really good. I put really random stuff on there sometimes, and it really helps. You also get the tutorials hour early or something just for being there, so you can talk to. Really nice guy to talk to, and I'll see you next time.